Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to Factorio the Island. My name, of course, is Orbit Potato, that's right, and we're getting right back into it. Alright, so a problem that I have noticed occurring is that we're just not getting the number of red science packs that we actually need. I mean, we're only using a couple of furnaces at this very moment. Because we just require so unbelievably many red science packs. It's crazy. It's crazy. We really, really do require an awful lot. And I don't really know if we should... I, I don't really know if we should, uh, you know, manufacture more red science. Or just, like, leave it like it currently is. Because... Oh, we can upgrade the belt. That's, that's something that we can do. Because let's face it. The... Maybe, maybe we should need, maybe we do need more, but you see, if you look at this, there's, there's 10 red science, 8 blue, 8 blue, uh, green, whatever, you know, so that's what's required. However, for most of the conventional stuff, it's just a 1 to 1 to 1 ratio, so I don't, I don't really know if it warrants building more red science machines just for the sake of it. I mean, something that we could do, and something that we can do now, because we've got, you know, this whole solar island business set up is we could think about speeding things up through the use of beacons. I mean, that's not uh, a completely uh, daft idea. It is going to consume a little bit more power, but at the same time, we get the added benefit of having faster production. So uh, what we could do is we could just pop a little beacon in here, pop a little beacon in there, uh, boost the speed up on a couple of machines by a little bit. Uh, we could also remove a whole bunch of efficiency modules and replace them with good old speed modules. In fact, you know what? I think that that is a good port of call. Uh, we have to go in and manually do them, unfortunately, and then we can just do this from the outside. Alright, so that's going to speed up production by 80%, which is nice. I don't think it's going to make a huge, huge difference, but uh, it is something, at least, which is good. Uh, but the beacons, I think, are going to be pretty darn big. Now, what is the floor space of one of these beacons? Uh, quite big, actually. Quite big, unfortunately quite big unfortunately now we still need to get iron over there but how are we going to do that if we in fact you know what we can get rid of this we can get completely rid of this because all we need to do is set up a requester chest and i know people are going to be like oh potato what are you doing you're getting robots to do more and more of the work for you i'm honestly okay with robots doing uh, a lot of the work for me because i did an entire playthrough as you're probably aware if you're not then you can uh, you know go back and watch it but I did an entire playthrough uh, without robots, so I'm really, really, really just enjoying uh, having this extra freedom that you get, which is uh, which is really, really nice. Now, how much iron do we have in the system? I don't imagine it's very much. We've got three bits of iron. Holy shit. We, we do not have very much iron at all. Like, we are... We are full... I imagine that our iron production is fairly impressive, to be honest. We're getting a lot of iron processed. No machine, no machine is currently not working, and most of them are working on iron. Which tells me that we probably need more furnaces. Are we, are we really going to go on a mission to replicate this entire area? Is that what we're going to do? I think we can do it, actually. I think that that is totally, totally doable. Uh, we seemingly have the extra iron coming in. Uh, bear in mind that we're barely even tapping this source. I mean, we fa in fact, we even made plans for uh, a secondary iron pickup, which is going to be, you know, a super, super fast area. But I honestly think that we could do with, uh, with creating an entirely new furnace area to process more and more iron. I really, really do. I, I believe that. I believe that deeply. Uh, yeah, we're, we're having real supply issues here. Because we're just not getting enough iron to turn into gears and you're not producing anything. I mean, it's not exactly a bad situation because it's only research flask. It's not like it's anything important. It's not like we don't have, you know, laser turrets or whatever. But it's it's just it's just annoying, really. Uh, we seemingly are fine for copper, I think. Copper is, yeah, I mean, look, we've always got a, a consistent, you know, basically a consistent belt worth of copper uh, that is not being touched. Or is not being drawn from truly. Uh, plus, bear in mind that we've got a whole bunch of uh, of copper over here. We might as well open this chest up to 
more copper. Since, you know, we're not, we don't exactly need it. Might as well get a little bit more copper stored up for, uh, for when we actually do need it. That's my logic anyway. Fingers crossed that does actually work. How many normal circuits do we have in the system? 29k normal circuits in the system. And we're basically manufacturing them constantly. Which is what we like to see. Are we manufacturing them constantly here? Almost constantly. I mean, it was constant up until I adjusted this. Well, let's adjust it back. Because seemingly, we don't have as much copper as I actually thought we did. Which, fuck me, right? Uh, that's fine. It doesn't matter. A lot of people have also complained about the complexity of this, like, junction over there. I do not disagree with you. That is a very, very complex junction that we may end up having to solve. Okay, let's get rid of... Uh, no, kind of... Eh, in fact, we don't need that. We would never we would never place down a blueprint that requires guns now. It would always be laser turrets. Okay. This is going to be the biggest... The biggest project by far... To date. Holy shit, this is kind of huge. This is massive. I think that's exactly what we want. Fuck me. That is... That is large. That is... Large. And you know what? It's actually completely possible for us to... Place it down somewhere over here. We could rotate it, I guess. That would just be nonsense, though. Okay. Okay, so this sort of gives us a rough estimate of the size that we need to get. I'd sort of want to offset it a little bit so that we would have the copper coming in over here and the iron coming in over there, like here and here. Can't really point to it right now. Um, what we could do as a first port of call, though, is we could use one of the... Where is it? It's here. Uh, the shaped compression bomb. We've never built one before. We don't know what it's going to do. Well, I... Well, I, I I know what it's going to do because I can read here. A massive internal pressure buildup creates a huge explosion throwing land out of the way. I don't know what the effect is. I've never tried it before. I, honest to God, have never, ever tried it before. Uh, but we're going to give it a shot and see what the heck actually happens. Um, let's try and get all the materials together. And we'll see where we can do it. We've got the processing units. We need a couple of engine units, a couple of explosives. Give me... 50 of those. We, we only need 10, but whatever. Uh, engine units, that's 2. That's 50. <laughs> well, that's 52 in total then, eh? And we need to connect it to some water, I guess, so we'll do that over here. We will select the design that we want. Connect it up. Now, I don't know how effective this is going to be. I don't know how useful it's going to be, but it's going to be a kind of cool little uh, little test, little litmus test, I guess, to see what the heck happens. Uh, there we go. And now what we need to do, power it up. Power it up. There we go. Perfect. How fast is it going to make it? A shaped compression bomb. My god, this is... I don't want to place it down over here just in case like something bad happens, so... We're going to go on a little adventure to the other side of the other side of the lake to see if we can free up a little bit of space. Obviously, we're only going to be freeing up a little bit of space over here uh, because what we want to do is we want to basically landmass this entire area, but we don't want to be connected to the landmass because even though we did a fairly darn good job of taking out a lot of the biters, I'm not convinced that they would be too happy with me just rocking up and, uh, you know, doing some nonsense. Okay, we do have a... A jet on us somewhere, right? Pretty sure we had a jet on us. No, oh, maybe we didn't have a jet on us. Uh, crazy. I thought we did. I really, really thought we did. Okay, where's this shaped compression bomb? Here. It needs to be powered up. Okay, well, that's doable. should be possible for us to connect the wires across the ocean even though it is kind of a little bit far and a little bit awkward so I guess this is kind of like a fuse
So it needs to charge up. Okay, so it needs to charge up. Maybe, maybe we want to build it a little bit further away. I should have 10 laser tarts on me. That's fine. All right, things are a little bit dark right now. See, when it says a huge area of effect or whatever, kind of scares me a little bit, and it makes me think, you know what, you know what, maybe maybe it's not such a good idea to build it so, so darn close to the base. Shit. There we go. Clear up that nonsense. Put a little compression bomb over here. And fingers crossed it should charge up. I have no idea how much energy it requires to charge up. It looks like a heck of a lot. I mean, we, well, in fact, we can actually tell if we go into here. And have a look. Does it not say? It should say. Man, oh man, we have so much storage. It's awesome to see that we've got so much power storage. Yeah, I mean, it just do it doesn't say how much uh, how much energy it requires. Energy capacity fifty. Maximum input one point five megajoules, and energy capacity is fifty megajoules. So it's going to take quite a while to fill up, I guess. Well, there's one hundred percent electric demand satisfaction here. I, I I don't know how huge this explosion is, and that worries me. That really really does worry me. Put an extra couple of turrets just around here to make sure everything is protected. What's going on? A robot is being destroyed here and there. That's fine. I guess it'll be charged up soon. But we can't really move until uh, we know what's going to happen. I mean, well, we can actually move. That's, that's something that we are forgetting. We can actually do stuff. What is this? 94 bigger landfill. Okay. So we're not getting much stone from this area. But that's honestly to be expected because we haven't been getting much stone from this area for a darn long time. I suppose we could add a little bit more stone production on. Why not? We should have loads of electric furnaces by now. Yep, we've got more than we will probably ever need. Uh, walls, we're doing pretty darn good for walls. Got a big box full of stone. Not bad, not bad at all. Do we have any landfill in this chest? Or in any of the chests? Oh, fuck me. I, I'm, just, I'm just thinking, like, how many resources are we going to require to make an area that is this bloody big? A furnace area that is this bloody huge. It's insane. It's absolutely insane. And if we move it down this away, then we should be fine, actually. All right, let me get some some poles and just like mark out roughly where the edge is going to be. So I know roughly where to uh, to build. One laser turret was destroyed. Oh shit! It was over here. Is that it? Is that the huge explosion? What? Why? Why is this huge explosion not huge? That's my question. We put down one shaped compression bomb and it exploded a tiny little titchy bit. That's pathetic. That's absolutely pathetic. We're going to need to make like shit tons more of these. Although, I'm pretty sure the more pressure that it can build up, the better. I honestly don't know though. What more do we need? Explosives. There we go. It just seemed a little bit pathetic, to be honest. There we go. And some more explosives. There we go. One more. For good measure. 
I mean, surely it can't just be that. Because that is, that is disappointing in the extreme. Oh, it, it gives a little, uh, a little area of effect. Well, that's fucking disappointing, isn't it? That's uh, real fucking disappointing. Is there any upgraded tech that allow us to... I suspect that there is probably not. <sighs> okay, so I guess I guess it should sort of be used in a way to... In a way to just, like, mine stuff, like controlled explosively destroy areas of land which is actually kind of what we're looking for in all honesty i was just expecting a huge area of land to be removed and it was a tiny area of land uh, which was rather disappointing let's set up automated manufacturing of these things because i have a funny feeling that we're going to need a few of them i don't think we're going to need loads of them but i think we're going to need uh, a good few all right, let's get physical, physical. I want to get physical. No, no. It's not really what I want to do. Let's get steel. And, yeah, we're going to have more than enough to... We're going to have more than enough uh, original whatever you may call it, it's processing units in here to make, like, tons of these controlled, explosive, whatever the Meduda you call them. We've got eight of them. That's kind of nice. Uh, we want to destroy just, like, an area of land, like, up and around here. It's pretty much the only area that threatens us right now. So I think we should probably try and set up the explosives in a way that destroys the land. I honestly think that it's going to take a heck of a lot more work than just laying this stuff. But I think this is a good start, I guess. Uh, well, at least I hope it is. I, I have no idea if it is. Okay. Make a couple of these. Okay, you, 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 and you. Perfect. Clear up laser turrets. So we're not going to... Shit. I was going to say, we're not going to put laser turrets down this time. Because, let's face it, they only just got destroyed. And, you know, that's not exactly something that we want to, to see happen again. Because that's a... Uh, you know, that's a shit ton of laser turrets that we just lost for apparently no reason. So... Let me tell you, folks, we are working on this iron production area. Fingers crossed it's going to be finished before level, uh, level? Uh, before episode 100, in which I've got, uh, you know, some sort of a big tour planned, I think. I, I don't really know what we're going to do when we get to level 100. But, you know, we're a couple of episodes away, and uh, it's, it's getting closer. It's getting closer, and it's awesome. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very, very much for watching. My name, of course, has been Oda Potato. This has been Factura the Island. Until next time, folks. 